Hey GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report here at the Project Humvee Battle Wagon to show you one of the coolest upgrades we've found so far. A couple things we're going to talk about in here, but first what we're going to talk about relates to this switch right here. This is for the headlights. So let's go up here and look at the new headlights that we recently installed. We had a couple different kinds of headlights up here. So US military Humvees come with a 24 volt electrical system and they use standard incandescent headlights. So we, we see a couple headlights. This is the incandescent bulb that the military uses, 24 volt. And we got three wires on the back. They're labeled, these little metal tags will say uh, 16, 17, and 18. Actually, I think, I think the one that most people call 16, I think that's actually 91. Yeah, maybe we can read that. That one says 91. This one is 18, and this one is 17. So 91 is your ground, 17 is the standard beams, and 18 is the high beam. So with these headlights, we got all three high, low, and ground coming into the back. Why we don't like the incandescent, they're not as bright as the newer LEDs. They use more power, and the um, incandescent, it depends on down inside there, a little filament that actually heats up and burns and those break real easy in these big radley bumpy Humvee. We want to pitch this and uh, not talk about it anymore. Oh, what we will talk about are the plugs on the end. I believe I've heard these called Packard connectors and uh, you'll see it's a little male, male piece on the inside and then this on the outside is just a rubber dust and water boot. When this plugs in back behind the headlight it's just going into a hole. The male part here goes into a little female connector and that's all she takes to hook it up and take them out. If you want to take these out, any of the headlights, we got one, two, and three. You take those out, this ring comes off. Whole headlight's going to come out at that point. Uh, so catch it with one hand, pull your three connectors, and now your headlight's out. You can put a new one in. So the first thing I replaced with was this truck light LED. Pretty snazzy looking, bunch of LEDs inside there, glass on the front. You can see the model here. This is not the model that you're probably gonna wanna order, okay? This is the 07392 from truck light. Yes, you're correct. You only see two wires coming out of the back instead of three. 91 is your ground, 17 is your low beam. High beam's missing because this, made to be like a floodlight or spotlight or something. Uh, it's not made to be a headlight. So I still drove around with these for a couple weeks. Actually really like them, except, you know, the, the deer here in North Carolina like to run out in front of you at night. Good way to get their attention is flash your headlights at them. Well, if you only got one beam, you don't have high beams, kind of hard to flash your headlights. So for safety reasons, I wanted to upgrade. They actually lit up the road really well and I liked them a lot. I just want to have that high beam to be able to flash when I need it. So pulled these out and replaced them. These are pretty slick looking. I'll put a link in the uh, video description so you can find these, purchase if you like. What we have here, when these are running, this section comes on, that one and that one. So these three make up your uh, low beam setting. And then when you turn the high beams on, this bottom one comes on as well. They're LEDs. The cool thing, what I like about them the most is the pair of them. Okay, so we put these uh, on both sides, right? The pair of them together was about $89, $89, $99, something like that, shipped via uh, Amazon Prime. I like that. So let me zoom in here again and we'll show you what they look like when they come on. Reach into the switch. There we go. There's our standard beams. If I turn on the high beam, there we go. That's what she looks like with the high beams on. The LED bulbs in low beam and off. These have been really good headlights. Only had them a couple, you know, week, week and a half since they've been installed, but they've worked exceptionally well. I'm really enjoying them. And uh, this is one of the most cost-effective upgrades I've found because it, it's just absolutely crazy what headlights cost for these things. Oh, what I needed to mention, these new headlights don't use the same kind of connector so you have to modify 
the connector that goes on it's as simple as putting just a little uh, the male end of a bullet connector I use the red ones you know for it's that like 14 gauge wire something like that um, and they slide right inside the connector on the other end uh, that sits in the back of this housing there are some things to be aware of on the back these uh, raised areas one two three of them line up so that it's aligned properly uh, so your cut line on the light is appropriate and you're not blinding people who are coming at you again here we go set of headlights go look at the links for the video i'll show you exactly what they are where we got them off of amazon you know if you hadn't done it already please consider subscribing go visit the website gearreport.com here we go and uh, you can check out all the videos and uh, written content we have for the Project Humvee Battle Wagon. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see more information on. We'll see what we can do to get that up there for you. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, visit us at our website, and we'll see you at the range.